Peters.com. Today I'm comparing Nook HD Plus, Nook HD, and Nexus 7 2013. So why compare Nook HD and Nook HD Plus with a Nexus 7? For, for starters, when Barnes Barn & Noble launched these devices, they were supposed to compete with the previous Nexus 7, and now we know that they're not going to be around anymore, and the prices, they dropped them, so a lot of people picked these up, but the performance is going to be a lot different. Nexus 7 HD, as you can see, let's not, let's forget about the benchmark numbers, which is, I mean, amazing the difference between the two. We're talking about a device that offers quad-core experience. We're talking about a device that has a 1920 to 1200 display, 2 gigs of RAM. Much better than Nook HD and much better than Kindle Fire HD as far as when you put them together. Now, Kindle Fire has the Amazon ecosystem going for it, so I understand why a lot of people want to wait for the next Kindle Fire HD to pick that up. But as far as Nook goes and Nook HD, yeah, you pay 149 or 179 But for 229 you get a lot more and the benchmark numbers don't lie. You get a quad-core experience, 2 gigs of RAM, performs much better in various areas, and you get 9 hours of battery life. So it's really up to you. I This is a good deal because it's a 9-inch display, so we're talking about a pretty decent-sized tablet. For hundred, it was offered for 149, 179, something like that. That's a pretty good deal. But I, for Nook HD, I would not get it today. If if I knew back then that we were gonna have a Nexus 7 with these features, I would not get one of these. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. For more information, please go to bestebookreviews.com. And if you like our videos, please rate and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, guys.